Welcome back to 17 News at 5.30. Vernway overcrossings aren't generally recognized for their beauty, but add some art and some purpose and some magical things can certainly happen. That's the case 30 feet below the Beale Street overpass in East, Baker, in East Bakersfield, a concrete canvas designed to inspire. 17's Robert Price ventured out there and brings back this story. Messages of empowerment can come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and locations. Even an East Bakersfield underpass. This is a statement. A statement about finding beauty in the most unlikely of places. A statement about finding potential in a neighborhood not always associated with achievement. But a statement about each individual's value in society, especially girls' value. A statement about opportunity, dignity, and empowerment. This mural, about two weeks from completion, is all of those things. It's below the Beale Street Bridge that crosses over the Southern Pacific tracks in Old Town Kern. It's not just a visual experience, it's an auditory one too, thanks to the traffic overhead, urban noise that underscores this unique pairing of grit and grace. The murals, it's actually two facing concrete walls a block apart, will portray seven real life neighborhood girls. The message, girls' lives matter. Brandon Thompson and Jennifer Williams Cordova are the mural artists. This project is about a message of empowerment for all people here in East Bakersfield, but especially for the young, uh, young women and little girls of East Bakersfield in this specific community. It's for the girls in the neighborhood. Um, it's a symbol of empowerment and inspiration. Ward 2 Bakersfield City Councilman Andre Gonzalez secured the financing for the project. This project is a project of the Hub of Bakersfield, which is a nonprofit that is uh, about a year and a half old now. We're focused on revitalizing the urban core. So we partnered with the uh, Arts Council. Uh, David Gordon there has been wonderful. Uh, he uh, in turn partnered with uh, the Virginia and Ellen Carroll Foundation, which contributed uh, close to $10,000 to help us with this project. Monica Pardita's daughter Gianna Zendejas is one of the girls on the nearly complete South Wall. It just starts with bringing smiles to people's faces, you know, just driving by and seeing it's not so bad over here. And then I also hope it inspires young girls. 11-year-old Kayla Martinez and her mother Juanita De La O are proud to be a part of the undertaking. It's supposed to symbolize that whoever sees this mural can be whoever like they want to be. The east side is a beautiful place and other people could know about it and visit this side of town. The mural, even in its present state of completion, is already making an impression. Kizzy Lucky grew up in this East Bakersfield neighborhood and moved to another city as an adult. She decided to drive through the old neighborhood on New Year's Day and she was stunned by what she saw. I think it's beautiful, especially being that I grew up, you know, grew up here and moved away and came back to, you know, and I, I didn't want to come back because I just thought like over the years how bad things were here, but it seems like it's getting better. It's a beautiful thing. The murals will be finished January 15th if all goes according to schedule, but already those who've taken it in are feeling a little better about themselves and this challenging world. So the message is loud and clear and it's not just the cars overhead. Girls of Bakersfield, you can be somebody. In East Bakersfield, Robert Price, 